Hello, my name is Louis and this is the first intro I ever did on one of my YouTube videos. I talk about my own personal growth journey. And um, so how to find the limiting beliefs that you have that just limit your, uh, your experience of life, your experience of reality. I truly believe that all the, like any seeming limit that we have in our life comes from a limiting belief so there might be counter examples for this but basically everything that you want in life and you know you want it you know with your heart that you want it like stuff that's really so obvious like financial freedom or a certain type of activity or certain type of job or uh, certain types of relationship or whatever you know stuff that you know you want and you don't have it right now then there must be somehow a limiting belief that you have about that thing and that's the reason why you don't have it and so for me I was thinking um, at the very beginning when I was starting to make videos on YouTube I was uh, really wanting hard to I really wanted like deeply to do a lot of videos you know like just like uh, how do you say punch them out every day and I didn't and I think the reason why was that I was somehow and still somehow am like um, believing that I'm not creative enough but it's just that's just like a label and uh, it's just kind of a subjective scale that i was applying to myself so i was measuring my creativity compared to other people i was like oh all right someone who's creative is someone who does like xyz you know and i'm not doing xyz so i'm not creative so uh, it might be true that i'm not creative along like this scale but who says that uh, creativity is just defined by this and that if you don't do xyz for example if you're not a musician or doing like art you can't be creative that's a little bit like uh, strange right but we have so many definitions that we have in our head and we never question them and the reason why also is because we need definitions about life that we don't question all the fucking time in order um, in order to have like a uh, <coughs> in order to have a stable life experience you cannot question all the stuff all the time otherwise you're just going crazy but what you can do is look at the limits of your of your perception you know that you never question and you're like do I need, do I really need that limit right now? Because there are certain limits that are quite useful, but there are a lot of limits that we do impose on ourselves and they're not useful. And so right now I'm trying to find them in my life. And there are certain they're just like deeply unconscious and even when you try to think about them, you don't see them. I noticed for example that I talk to myself a lot, imagining that there's another person there and I do it on automatic pilot and it feels good. It like throws probably a good chemicals in my brain or something to think that. And I think the reason why is because I feel unworthy. I feel that I'm not worthy on my own. I have to prove it to someone else. So you can also listen to your mind chatter a lot more, being more, be more aware of uh, the automatic thoughts you have and try to see, to ask yourself like, what am I believing in order to have those thoughts? Like, why do I think this? And for me, it's kind of obvious. It's like uh, beliefs about unworthiness, mostly. And then there's also a lot of stuff that I want to do. And uh, I have a bunch of beliefs about them that just like keep me safe, you know, somehow. So if you want to change your... Uh, just like your life experience you have to question those beliefs and what you can do then is to take actions that prove these beliefs wrong and for beliefs like unworthiness i think like i i still don't know how to like challenge it because i still feel unworthy a lot of times